Well, you know, getting a parking ticket, right? It's frustrating enough, but imagine when you get one when you don't deserve it. That is certainly even worse. 7 Action News investigator Scott Lewis discovered that's exactly what's been happening to people in downtown Detroit. And Scott, you have uncovered problems with the city's pay station. That's right, Diana. These things were installed in and around downtown Detroit during the Kilpatrick administration, but they're not always working the way they should be. And innocent drivers are getting tickets slapped on their windshields. Help! Help! Anybody? Gail and Philip O'Neill are faced with a frustrating problem, one that could happen to you. Okay, what's the car for? What is that? They're trying to park in Detroit, and the pay station won't take the money for any of the spots. And just a few feet away, some poor guy has gotten a ticket he doesn't deserve. Hey! We need you! Gail flags down a municipal parking employee who reports the non-working pay station to the city. What you just witnessed is not unusual. These pay stations aren't all they're cracked up to be. The 7 Action News investigators are about to expose some chronic problems plaguing the city's parking system. Problem number one, pay stations won't accept payment. A municipal parking insider tells me this happens all the time. The pay stations won't accept coins or credit card swipes, especially when it's cold or wet outside. It would not take any money, um, and I looked for a number to call. I couldn't see any number on the meter. If you get a ticket because it didn't take your payment, your only option is to ask for a hearing, as this woman did. But when I can't put money in the meter, I don't believe that it's reasonable that I pay a ticket for not being able to um, pay the parking cost. I've dismissed your ticket, ma'am. Our insider says hearing officers are constantly dismissing these tickets. That's just one of several problems we uncovered that are resulting in people getting bogus parking tickets in Detroit. And we've discovered a problem with the wording on these parking tickets themselves that raises a fairness issue. Catch my full investigation tonight at 11 p.m. Watch the 7 Action News investigators taking action for you. Yeah. Scott Lewis, 7 Action News. So